Hello everyone. Thanks for tuning in to the Village Church um, and everyone who clicked this video to watch together. I'm Jen, Pastor Dan's wife, and Dan said that my face was better than his today. He also wrote these, so he thought I should share our announcements today. Um, we have finished the first week of school. Did you survive it? We are praying that you did. We're praying that it's great going forward. Um, we are letting you know that we are moving toward using our indoor facility beginning in October and are looking to restart the Village Kids Ministry. That's right, our Village Kids Ministry leaders are working to get things up and running for the beginning of October. So this includes nursery care as well as specific times and spaces for kids up to grade six. Older kids will have some stuff available for them to use um, in our main gathering time. So an email has been sent out requesting helpers for this, but it's something that we cannot offer without your help. We can offer children's ministry um, because you want to help with it. So let's join forces and help each other, help our families, raise our kids to know and love Jesus. Um, in fact, as we essentially relaunch many of our ministry opportunities, there's great need. You know how we say it takes a whole village to raise a child. Everyone in the community contributes to a kid's life with their own unique self. And it takes a whole village to be the church too. So in order to offer the opportunities that we have as the church and continue with the momentum that God has granted us over the last four years, we have some key volunteer roles that we need filled. One, website and social media managers. Two, database managers, someone to keep our database and records up to date. Three, village kids ministry volunteers. People who are excited to help families guide their kids in the ways of the Lord, teach kids stories from the Bible, and help them learn what it means to live in the ways of Jesus. Um, the Village Kids Ministry would also love to hear from anyone who is passionate about seeing kids discover Jesus and may want to be involved, but they aren't exactly sure what to do or what that would look like. Um, we also need youth workers. We have so many kids in our church and community that are between the ages of 11 and 17 and these kids need caring adults. If you're up for learning a bit of how to help this age group, let us know. So there are plenty of helpful ways that you can be a part of the community. What are the qualifications for these roles? Well, you may think that you don't have what it takes or that you need to learn a lot more first, but God works with people who are faithful, meaning you believe in what is happening and are committed to it. You are available, meaning you make some time for these things, you show up. And lastly, you are teachable. You may feel you know nothing, but you are willing to learn. So if you would like to know more about how you can be a part of the Village Church and helping out, contact the person directly looking over the area of ministry and service that you may feel drawn to. It really does take a whole village. If you are comfortable and able, you can join us each Sunday at 1030 at 2536 Stevensville Road for our outdoor gathering times. Bring a lawn chair or blanket and gather on the back lawn to come out to see each other, enjoy the morning of worship, prayer, teaching, and a chance to get to know each other better. But if you aren't able to meet in person, that's what these videos are for. Just tune in to our YouTube channel and join in with the same songs and sermon that we will be doing together in person. As long as the weather cooperates, we will meet. If the forecast calls for rain, we will cancel the in-person gathering for that week and just head online to our YouTube channel. We will continue to follow this process for this month and will anticipate moving indoors in the coming weeks. All of our info and updates go out in our weekly emails so if you would like to be included in this weekly email, just email Pastor Dan at dan at thevillagechurch.ca. I wanna say how much I appreciate your support by sending offerings and donations by e-transfer to giving at thevillagechurch.ca. E-transfer giving has been a huge help and success for us as God's church. So we will continue with this as our primary giving option for offerings and donations. If you are new to tuning in, please don't feel like you have to give. We know that it is through God's guidance and provision through our generosity that we can continue to offer ministry and service with and to the communities that we live in. So thank you for your generosity and regular giving in that. Let's take a minute and pray together. 
Lord, we want to thank you for your goodness to us. We want to thank you for the ways that you have been faithful to us through this season. We want to thank you for um, your presence and the times that we have been able to gather and the ways we have continued to stay connected through um, our online times as well. We want to lift up Anita and the lung cancer that she is facing. We just ask for your hand to, um, on her life and on her body. We ask for health and healing and we ask for peace and comfort as she walks that road. We continue to pray for our world and the countries that are facing um, incredible challenges and struggles. Lord, we think of Haiti, we think of Afghanistan. We just lift up the people in those situations to you. We ask for your protection, for your restoration, for um, resources that are needed, for safety that is needed. We ask for, for change, for powerful change to come in political situations that are so dangerous for people. And we look to you as um, the creator, as the healer, as the savior and ask that you would continue to step in and to meet people in those situations. Lord, we continue to pray for Carrie. Um, thank you that the surgery went well and we pray now for good results from the pathology report. Ask that, that would, um, she would have peace as she waits for those results and that you would just show yourself faithful to her. Lord, we wanna lift up Scott's brother and their whole family to you as they're facing um, the loss of their little boy, Nolan, um, and as they are um, celebrating and um, resting in the safe delivery of Arabella. And I just ask for such comfort for them, for your presence, for your strength, lifting them up and helping them go forward when they think they can't. Um, thank you that you meet them in their grief and in their loss. And we just pray that you would be their comfort and strength through these days. We continue to pray for Jean's brother Charlie as well and ask that you would speak to his heart and his mind, be his comfort as well, Lord, be his hope and his purpose in these days. Help him to know that you are with him and help Joe and Jean walk with them, give them your love, your patience, your strength as they walk alongside him. Thank you for your goodness, Lord. Thank you for this village of people um, that are your people. And we just continue to look to you for where you are leading us, for the part that we have to play in that. And we are excited, we are hopeful for the things that you are going before us into, Lord. Amen.